A warning tonight about suspicious phone calls targeting the tri-state. They appear to be from charities, but one local police chief says there are just too many red flags, and he wants everyone to know about these. Here at Linda's Barber Shop in the center of Goshen, it wasn't just the cutting tools that were buzzing. Customers like Neil were buzzing about some suspicious charity calls. If I don't recognize the number, I won't answer it, but my wife does. Callers lately have wanted money for everything from Nepal earthquake victims to police charities to school fundraisers. It has to be people we know. Stylist Sherry Blevin says otherwise, she tells them to put it in writing. Uh, we tell them if they have some material they can leave behind, we'll look at it, and, but we don't give right away. Good idea, says Police Chief Rick Combs, who tells us there's been a rash of questionable calls this spring. It could be for law enforcement, it could be for the handicapped, cancer society, and they're wanting to know if we recommend they make a payment. The chief says never agree to donate over the phone. Check their exact name and Google them. Check the Better Business Bureau's charity lookup guide. And never give a credit or debit card number over the phone, no matter how touching the appeal. Just check a little deeper. Ask a few more questions. If they're fundraising for police families, check your local department. Back at Linda's, they're a little more blunt. We just tell them we don't do business over the phone. If you want to mail us something, that'll be fine. Goodbye. Good for him. Please give to charities. Make sure, though, it's real. And to be safe, mail them a check. Which brings us to our Tuesday app of the week. And this week, a great fitness app. With a flying pig coming up, the Nike Training Club with workouts for beginners to experts. It's free for iPhones and Androids.